inspiration or desperation. I was desperate and I was totally <laughs> inspired by this amazing woman here. So I had both. So if you're desperate, find someone to inspire you. If you're inspired, find something to get desperate about. Whatever it is, find it. We built an incredible business, you know, we've got an amazing team, but my life now couldn't be further apart from the life that I had nine years ago. Um, I'm now married with three children. My life is really hard work, but <laughs> it's amazing, you know. We've got financial independence, we've got a beautiful house, we've got our first investment property in lockdown. You know, I wake up every day happy. Um, but more than anything, like, I feel like so different to the mother that I was nine years ago because the mother that I was nine years ago was so worried about what I was going to be able to provide for my child, was so worried about how I failed her. And now, we're staying in the front row with her on my lap, thinking, oh my gosh, you've got no idea at the opportunity and the world that you're going to grow up into all because of this business. And I don't just mean financial. I don't just mean because you'll get to go to private school or I mean like the influence and the power of the people that will be around her or the way that her mum is, that her mum believes that you can do whatever you want to do, you just have to put your mind to it and that I'm going to tell her she can do whatever she wants to do and that you know what the person that she wants to be, she can be and that's all because of this business. So the finance is amazing and all of the stuff that we've been able to achieve because of this business. But actually, for me, right now, standing up here, I cannot believe the difference in my life from nine years ago to now with the same, well, not the same baby, obviously, but the same three-month-old baby. And it's just, just amazing. So, yeah, this business is well and truly changed my life. I was literally sitting there holding it back myself. Um, so, I've been in the business now for five years this month. And I've got two children myself. I've got Matt, who is five, and I've got Freya, who is three. Um, so before this business, I was um, a checkout girl for five years in Tesco's, full time, and I fell pregnant. So I was on maternity leave, and things got really, really hard for us as a couple. We argued because we didn't have no money, couldn't afford to pay our rent. We actually had to sell our car at one stage to pay the rent before we moved back to my mum and dad's house. So things were really, really bad. Um, I saw this from my amazing upline, Lauren Roberts, if any of you guys know, I'm sure you do, <laughs> and a little laugh. Um, but I joined, I joined because I saw how happy she was and the life that she had. I was very, very sceptical, um, and I believe it fell onto me, this opportunity, when I needed it the most, more than what I thought I needed it. Um, completely, completely changed my life. I can't even explain. There's been a few hard times that we've, we've faced as a family in the last five years. My husband was diagnosed with cancer. I can't really talk about it, but he's all right. He's fine, but I was able to pick up it and carry on. And this business kept me through everything. I had the chance to make or break it. I had the chance to shut my book and focus on my husband. But... I didn't, I carried on going the next month after he was diagnosed with cancer, he's okay now, but it was the worst thing, thinking that I'm not gonna be with my husband, because I didn't think he was gonna be here, but he's fine, so it's good. But this business gave me so much, I didn't have to worry financially, I didn't have to worry about anything, and it really did save me, so guys, please just, just go with it, because it can do so much for you. Mm. to your cake, to your business. So don't disregard them. There's people who've been in my business who have done nothing for 10 years, but are still in the community. I'm like, what are you here for? It's okay, I just love the community. I just love coming to the events. <laughs> Cassie's not going to be right here. She'll cry and put a hatch. Yeah, that's me. I'm just here for love. I'm just here for the people. She just loves being part of the community, and that's okay. I don't ever want you to disregard those people, because once in a while, they're going to put on a customer. And once, maybe once in a while, they're going to put on a team member that is going to blow up their business that you can take care of them. Yeah. And ultimately, it'll blow up your business. But So 80% of people are going to do a little bit. 15% of people are going to do a little bit more than that. Now, these people are going to be, they're going to show up on the calls, they're going to come to the events, they're going to, they're going to do a little bit more. They'll put on some team members and they'll put on some customers. 
So they'll probably be around about an SC business for you. Again, you want to take care of them. They're more of um, the, the, the eighty percent is I would manage those by group. You know, they're they're not doing enough to have a one-to-one -one call of you, but maybe checking in on them once in a while, one-to-one. -one. But your fifteen percent is going to be your SCs and above. They're going to be doing a little bit more, so they value your time a little bit more. But again, you're still managing them by group. You're having your one-to-one -one call with them every single month, and then. Your five percent is are the people who um, I mean, there's Emma Karen, there's Harriet Dan, there's um, Danny and uh, Ross. I mean, those are your five percenters who are going all in, going all to the top. They're they're not letting anything stand in their way. That's five percent of your business, and you will have those eventually. And it might take you five years, it might take you one year, it might take you ten years to find those people, but eventually they will come. But that's this is kind of what makes up your business. But you, Nobody's disregarded. I want you to remember that. Just because one person puts on one customer doesn't mean they don't matter. Because this right here what's, is what, what matters to them. Okay? So just have that in your mind. So you've got your, your 80%, you've got your 15, and you've got your five. And out of that five, you're gonna have one person that completely changes the whole game. The whole game to business, the whole game to network marketing, and the whole game to juice clubs. You'll have what that one person, but remember your five, they're gonna go all the way up to PMD plus. Your 15% of people are gonna to go to maybe SC, QSSC, something like that. And 80% are gonna be part of us to SC. But again, everybody matters. And I wanna tell <laughs> this is literally my life. So I started off at partner plus and got to PMD plus. Great thing. <laughs> it's fine. You think it's this beautiful straight line all the way to the top, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somehow, I got to PMD clubs. <laughs> and this mess in the middle you don't know. is life. Yeah. And it is messy. That's the process. And it can be tragic, and it can be fun, and it can be exciting, and it can be everything, everything in between. Yeah. But I promise you, there's no straight line from PMD clubs, uh, sorry, from P. P plus to PMD plus. There's no straight line. There's no quick formula, and there's there's no um, there's no firm blueprint. You'll make a mess along the way. It will be messy. It will be tragic, and it will be fun, and it will be exciting, and it will be challenging. It will be everything in between. But I promise you, eventually you will get there. Whether that's two years, three years, five years, ten years down the line, you will get there. And I, like I said, I've been in this business ten years. And it's probably took, it took me, um, I would say probably, if I was doing it, it didn't automatically qualify. It probably took me about seven years to get to PMD Plus. But imagine seven years over that time, you earned, can I say it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In that time, probably in seven years, um, or kind of shot it down a little bit. Um, or should I do 10? In 10 years, I probably earned about $7 million. What? Woo!